Right, welcome to Arizona. I am far away from, from my hometown um, and I'm going to be doing something pretty uh, unique today. I've met up with Kip from Egan Only Adventures in Egan's of Arizona. Kip's been um, over to South Africa quite a few times. He's done a lot of hunting there and you can actually see those videos on Egan's of Arizona's channel. Um, but um, we've kind of switched roles today. I'm traveling, I'm here in America and I've got the new FX Streamline which I'm going to be taking out today and doing kind of like a, a test drive. We're going to be putting it through its paces in the hunting field, doing a whole lot of pest control on all the pigeons out at this, at this huge dairy farm. I've, I've never seen so many birds in my life, so we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Uh, Kip's got his impact. I've put a little Hug It Belita silencer on the streamline, which should keep it nice and quiet. I think it's a good fit for this gun, and I'm really excited to see what these guns can do, so it should be fun. Thanks, so Kip, we'll for having me over. Chances. Oh, you yeah? bet, anytime. I'm glad we could finally meet up. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. We didn't good. get to do it when I was over there, but we're going to do it now. So yes. we're going to have fun. Well, we've got a lot of birds to shoot, so let's get straight to it, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> Well, as I said uh, earlier, we are doing a pest control job today, and that means that we're going to do whatever it takes to to get as many birds as we can. And over here on the on the dairy farm, these birds are very used to seeing vehicles driving around. So. By shooting from the truck, it allows us to get in nice and close to the birds because the birds don't freak out when we drive past them. Whereas if we were you know, walking around, we, we not only would be covering less ground, but we would um, spook the birds off, off much easier. So, ah, here we go, we've got some birds on the right hand side, yeah. How do these compare to the, the doves at home? Well, in South Africa, we've got um, quite, a, quite a lot of different species of doves. We've got the, uh, the Cape turtle dove, we've got the laughing dove, we've got the red eyed turtle dove. Laughing dove? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The opposite of your morning dove, I suppose. <laughs> we've got morning doves as well, but they're not that, that common. And then we've got a whole lot of different species of pigeons. Hmm. This would be very, very similar to the Cape turtle dove, which is, you know, we also call them like a ring neck dove or uh, I think they're kind of extremely similar to the to the Eurasian collared dove, so they look almost exactly the same as this, uh, about the same size. It's a little bit whiter on the front, but yeah, almost exactly a, the same. We see a lot of these Eurasian collared doves here that are, some of them will be real dark, they're hard to tell the difference from a morning dove or the darkness, mm. and we see some that are almost white. They're really mm. light colored. Yeah. I know they're good to eat too. They're very good. Very delicious. Don't have much meat, but if you get a, quite a lot of them, you can make a good pie or yeah. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, in South Africa, you guys have a lot of meat pies. Yes, we do. I yeah. enjoy that every time I go over there, I look forward yeah. to getting the meat pies. Delicious, yeah. And these are an invasive species over here, correct? Yes, they are. Yeah. yeah, the Game and Fish Department would like to see them all gone, but unfortunately, it's never going to happen. They're actually pushing out the morning doves and the <laughs> white wing doves. They're, they're taking over the same habitat and food sources. And wow. That's why we can shoot them all year round as long as we want. Hmm. Great, let's get back to it, shall we? All right. <laughs> One of the things about coming out here to shoot these birds, it's a lot of fun for us air gunners, but we are helping the, the farmer out to a certain extent. We'll never be able to correct the entire problem, but all these birds coming out here eating the grain, he's got it figured out where he loses about sixty dollars to $80,000 a year in grain to the birds, just the birds eating it. And all of the feed lines here, back at the commodity barn, all the birds go in there and they sit in the grain piles and they eat and their droppings go into the grain, the grain's fed to the cows. All along here where the cows are eating, the birds are coming in here, their droppings are going into it, their feathers, the cows can get sick from it. It's an ongoing problem for the farmer, so we're out here helping them out. It gives us something to do and a really good time. And, uh, you know, shooting out of the vehicle, some people say that's not a good thing to do, but we're out here mostly to get rid of pests. That's what we're here for. 
in a general hunting situation, no, you wouldn't want to hunt out of a vehicle. It's not ethical, it's not really fun. But here, as you walk through the dairy, most of the birds will fly too far. You don't get the right shot with all the cattle and the workers moving. You have to wait till you have a shot. Whereas when you're in the vehicle, you can move a lot quicker and get around and we can get a lot more shots. So gives us something to do, gives us a good time out here. I'm pretty amazed at the, um, the, the number of shots that we're getting on, on one air fill. I filled to 230 bar yesterday um, at the shop. But we've been shooting for a few hours, probably taken about 50 shots. I'm at 130 bar now, which means I've got to refill soon. But I mean, 50 shots in, in one air fill on a small cylinder like this is really, really good. So I'm very happy. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, not many people would take more than 50 shots in one outing of, of bird hunting anyway. So it definitely does the job. There's more to it than just um, lining up and pulling the trigger. We've got to be very conscious of the fact that there are not only cattle around here, but also um, workers and, 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 uh, and, and people, you know. So we can't just pull out the gun and shoot anywhere. We've got to think a little bit. And unfortunately, these starlings that are, are sitting up in the, in, in the roof, uh, we, we can't take a shot at them all the time because we can either damage the roof or the, the pelican ricochet off and, and hurt the, the cattle. Um, it's only when we have a, a good eye beam in the background where the pellet can kind of flatten and, and lose its, uh, its energy that, that we can take the shot. So you might see a few good, good shots in the roof, but generally we'll have rafters in the background. Well, the bad thing about starlings, when you have starling population come in, the starling will get in any bird's nest, knock the eggs out, and lay their own, and then yeah. the other bird, be it a, a dove or a quail or whatever it might be, anything that roosts in trees, they'll come in and raise a starling young. Hmm. So they're taking the population of the other birds away. Yeah, That's happening in South Africa at the moment with a very endangered species of parrot oh, really? that lives in the forest. Uh -huh. And they've put up nesting boxes to try and save the parrot, and mm -hmm. the starlings are coming in and kicking the parrots out the nesting boxes. Yep. So I'm trying to organize a hunt there where I go and shoot the starlings to save the parrot. It should be quite be a good great. story. Just some um, basic information about the streamline for those of you who haven't seen it or um, not quite sure what it's about. Um, this is the um, 30 foot pound version in 22 caliber. It's also available in, in 177 and, and 25 caliber, um, and perhaps a 30 caliber, I'm not quite sure, but for now I know it's in, in 177, 22 and, and 25. It's got a, a power wheel on the side where you've got um, about three different power settings you can set to. I've got it shooting at, at max power at the moment. It's got a 12 shot magazine, which is fantastic to just to get that, that multi-shot ability, um, especially over here when we have to perhaps take some quick shots um, in quick succession. The magazine really helps. Um, the same side lever cocking that you have on the Royale, which is tried and tested. Um, it's actually one of my favorite cocking levers. It's just so smooth. So we've got a really good setup over here. I, I don't know if I'd call it an entry-level PCP, 
but it's one of those guns that um, is not going to come in at, at the same price point as something like the Impact, for example, which is your top end air gun. This one's going to be a little bit cheaper, um, but it's going to do exactly the same as in terms of accuracy as something like the Impact is doing. So if you're looking for a, a good PCP to start off with, this is a pretty good choice. I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. You haven't been missing too many. You've been knocking them down pretty <laughs> Yeah, I've been enjoying it, yeah. you got some good shots out there. Some of them, the last couple of shots were at about 74 yards. Yeah, I'm starting to get used to um, what this gun can do. Obviously, having never shot it before, I'm not exactly sure what the, the trajectory is going to look like or, you know, I haven't <laughs> measured the scope out and done all that, that complicated uh, ballistic stuff. But I'm starting to get used to it and I'm starting to feel very comfortable. So, it's been good. For all you guys out there that like your scopes to be a lot lower to your barrel, this gun will be available with an 11 shot mag you'll be able to lower your scope down quite a bit more than what it is here so mm. that's another nice advantage to it it's something you probably didn't weren't aware of yeah i didn't know that that's yeah. great so that's going to be another good addition for it cool let's go shoot some more birds let's go do it yeah <laughs> Well, it's been a wonderful morning out here. I got the pleasure of hosting Matt Dubber from South Africa on a pigeon hunt. That was great. The man can shoot through the camera or on the shoulder. He's a very good shot. It's been a great day out here. We got to run the streamline through its paces. The impact, of course, performs like they always do. Perfect. Two fantastic guns from FX. A fantastic day. Being able to host a fantastic person, Matt Dubber. Until next time. Shoot straight and hit your target.